We're going to do a quick video of all the stuff we got at the auction. I've kind of gone through and priced stuff for the garage sale. Um, lots of glassware and whatever. Uh, just a whole lot of miscellaneous, a bit of decoration, some enamel stuff. Probably could have thrown those on eBay. Uh, but just for the price that they're at, it's not necessarily worth it. So yeah, lots and lots of garage sale stuff. We got one, two, three, four, five, six boxes for the garage sale. Um, ew, just about fell over. Um, I guess we're at $60, $70 value in those. Um, somewhere around there. Uh, probably 95% of the things in there are from the pallet that was five dollars so pretty easy return on money there these guys are also from the five dollar pallet uh, each of those longer wallets those are like biker slash truck driver style which are fairly prop uh, popular some of them need cleaned up but even the worn ones will uh, sell well because sometimes that's the look people are looking for, the distressed look. Um, I'll order a few replacement chains, like they all have the uh, hole to accept them. So these five are all in good condition. You know, distressed, but they're all together and fine. This one has a hole. The stitching's come come uh, come undone, so I could get that repaired, or I could sell it as is for a bit less. Uh, I'm thinking fifteen dollars plus for each of those, so seventy-five bucks. We'll say a hundred bucks for the whole shebang, um, which is pretty amazing considering the cost. Uh, then what do we got? This is a kerosene heater. I got it. That Coleman catalytic heater. Uh, outside there's a folding like 80s picnic table and that camping sink for I think it was $7.50. Five bucks or $7.50, one of those. So stupid cheap. That one I have wicks for it. I'm 95% sure. It's Kerosun brand. I know that's the brand of wicks I have. I have a bunch of different sizes so should be safe there. I think cleaning, cleaning it up and throwing in a couple wicks with it I could probably sell that come winter time $50 maybe $40. That I looked up on eBay and to my surprise it's they, there was a sold listing of this exact one, much better shape, that went for a hundred dollars. So uh, I'll probably put that one up forty-five bucks or maybe sixty bucks and have offers and see see where it goes. This bunch of chalk, uh, it came as part of my bunch of labels, giving those away. Uh, my wife's does children's programming so they'll enjoy those. This is kind of the stuff to research and put on eBay. Tons of uh, car manuals, uh, ephemera, magazines, uh, two, two different years of a magazine, a car magazine, um, Car and Parts magazine. Maybe it's just one. They both say 1984 on the side. Um, the I expect for the shop manuals and ephemera, without a doubt, there will be $200 there. You never know. It could it could get crazy with some of the collectible stuff. Uh, sometimes you can have, yeah, it can go crazy at. <laughs> Uh, for, for stuff you wouldn't really expect, so researching that will be fun. Uh, and then here we have a bunch of these canvas bags. Those were part of the lot of 
bags. <laughs> just like my, we got poly bags, all sorts. Some of them are the, they have holes because they're for produce. Underneath that is another box of just plain poly bags, which I use lots of. And then we have two that on the bottom, there is kind of the thicker, uh, like clothing store bags. Uh, same with the the brown one there, and then that one has uh, a size of like kitchen garbage bag that I will use in our house, and so that <laughs> the lot of bags was seven dollars and fifty cents, and it included all of these canvas bags, and those are I think those are going to be a sleeper hit. Um, there's probably forty or so, maybe fifty of these little canvas bags that had. Uh, buckshot and drop shot and some of them are cash bags from banks um, I'm, I'm not sure I can sell the bank ones uh, some of them say return to blah 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 I don't I don't know if those are okay to sell now that they've switched to the plastic bags um, but for sure the drop shot or uh, buckshot bags I can sell and from what I saw, the prices are all over the place. Um, I couldn't find any of these exact Lawrence brand, whatever. But it seems like just sort of generic ones, lots of five are going for like 20 bucks or more. So if I do lots of five bags, um, I can, I'll, I should hopefully be able to make you know a hundred bucks or so on those this one's really cool because it has this where it says to use it as a rest for shooting uh what else this is a vintage winnie the pooh cookie jar um i found a more modern listing of this one much cleaner um that sold for i think it was seventy dollars but it was the same sort of design. It had some modifications. It was like they took the B, moved it over there, and put the wings together so they were less prone to break. Um, that one's, you know, the paint is messed up, but there's no chipping, and it's it is vintage. Like if I here, so it, it's dirty. But, like when you look at that st stamp, if it's genuine, it's definitely old. So, I, I have to do some research on this. Uh, maybe get in touch with a Disney expert of some sort and figure out what I should be pricing that at. But, you know, if I can get 40 bucks, Anything over that, I'm super happy. Uh, here we got a shoe stretcher. Yep, there's all that stuff. These are my labels. Uh, I'm gonna use those either for shipping labels. These ones look like they're long enough. Uh, you can use colored shipping labels, that is allowed. Um, some of them are too small, I can use those for branding or I can sell them. Uh, if you want to check Uline, you can see how crazy the prices go for commercial uh, thermal labels. Uh, I imagine these are, they need ribbons. I do have some kicking around. So eventually I'll give them a try. That one's not open, so that's kind of cool. That's uh, box tape, water activated. There's two more rolls of it over there. I can use that stuff. So yeah, all in all, I'm happy. Over here we have, that's the garbage I've pulled out. Uh, metal for, recy for recycling, paper for recycling, cardboard for recycling. And that'll be a free box at the garage sale. Um, that cake pan, you know, I could clean it up but it's just too much work. Um, like it's a nice size and stuff. 
someone will take it for free, I'd imagine. So yeah, all in all, I'm happy. I'm, I think it's close to close to a thousand bucks for the stuff we got for uh, 150 bucks. Uh, this is the stuff we picked up for free from a church sale that was over. They just had a free pile. Uh, there's a Canon scanner there, a uh, DVR for uh, Shaw cable. It has a 500 gigabyte hard drive in it. Uh, I'll probably, because I don't have a way of testing the DVR, I'll probably just take the hard drive out and scrap the uh, DVR. Uh, the other thing in there is just a, it's like a sprinkler piece. I'm not sure what it is to be honest. It, it looks broken, the top part. Uh, but this metal part I can use, so I picked that up just for me. I am curious what this is. So I might... It definitely looks broken though, so whatever. Uh, I picked it up for this part. Uh, I want to set up a, a sprinkler line just for a little additional uh, fire safety here. So that's why I picked that up. Uh, but all in all, I'm super happy with the stuff we got. We definitely need to have a garage sale sooner rather than later now. Um, but, you know, it's all money. I'm happy to spend a day sitting around at a garage sale. So, thanks for watching.